as you can see guys it's literally just these two commands right here and you have the insane power of Claude flow at your fingertips let's get into it hey guys today i'm going to be talking about Claude flow this is currently my favorite system that i've ever used i absolutely love it and there's literally only two commands that you need in order to get everything running now i'm on a mac just bear that in mind so i'm going to do mkd Claude flu don't ask why i put I've got so many things on my computer now that I have to just think of random names. So the first one is uh, this command right here. Now, the thing that I love about this is if I now do ls, you'll see that there's a load of stuff here, which means that basically this is pre-configured to do whatever I tell it to do, right? So then the second command, it's literally this easy, guys. This will now, as you'll see in a second, Okay, so it should have run. However, there was a problem. I did find a solution to this problem. If you've seen this database problem before, all you have to do is run this code here. I'll put this in the document as well. This should work now. Okay, there we go. And then this should spawn. So it's three commands. Sorry, guys. It's a clickbait. This should spawn the hive mind. So let's actually see what I want it to say here is that I want it to actually use the hive mind. So this is a problem that I've been encountering over and over with this system is that it doesn't actually use the hive mind, which is incredibly frustrating. So yeah, unfortunately, just because of the way it is, occasionally you have to say, please use the hive mind. It's actually incredibly frustrating and annoying. Um, but generally speaking, it, it does work. It's just you have to tell it to use the hive mind sometimes. But watch, if I do exactly the same thing again, I guarantee you this time it will just use the hive mind. So it's kind of like a... There's like a random chance that it will or won't use the hive mind. See the hive mind. Let's try this here. We'll do the npx again. We'll run this again. It's probably going to give us the same uh, thing from before. Yeah, so this does have this problem here. I'll put this in the description of the video, like I said, so you guys can run this as well if you're having the same problem. Let's see if this time it actually uses the hive mind. So I'm going to run these both at the same time just because I'm, I'm curious. Look, it literally says right here, begin hive mind execution, and then it doesn't use the hive mind. I just don't understand these models sometimes. Let's see. Oh, here we go. The user wants me to act as the queen coordinate if hive mind's created. There we go. So this time it is actually using it straight off the bat. So like you, like I just said before, it's it's not it's not confirmed that it will always use the hive mind. Okay. It will sometimes just forget. So this one here is a real swarm hive mind experience. This is what you want, okay? So make sure that it's doing this, okay? It should have custom agents. This one, on the other hand, basically what it did was it cre it started using the hive mind and then it just started um, normally implementing everything. That is incorrect. Now you can see it's creating a coder or a coding agent in order to actually code. This is what you want, right? Once you see like coder or orchestrator or something here, then you know that it's doing it properly. So now let's see, let's compare the difference here. So we'll let this run and uh, we'll let this run and we'll see the difference basically and we'll see how it works. Cause I'm very, very curious to see if it actually makes a difference if you have to continuously tell it to use the hive mind compared to whether, you know, when it actually uses the hive mind. Okay, so here we go. Now we've got the real swarm going right here. So we've got the researcher, we've got the coder, we've got the analyst, and we've got the system architect. We're now going to let these run, and we'll compare the difference in just a second. Okay, guys, so I really, I, I really care about just showing you guys if things work or not. I'm not bothered about, like, hiding stuff or whatever. So let's run npm run dev just straight up and see if it works. Okay, this one actually has a failure, which is interesting. Maybe it's just a very quick fix. Um, so we will just give it a little bit more of a chance, but it, it's disappointing that that happened. This one is still trying to build. So, Okay, so I'm just telling it to use Playwright quickly just to click around because it's saying that it's working, but it's actually not. So I just want to quickly get it uh working because I, I think it's quite close and i think that it's done a pretty good job but we just need to get it working okay so the other one has now finished as well let me just check the folder name so claude flu hilarious open folder 
please ignore my folder names, guys. You just have to understand that when I'm doing a lot of experiments at once, yeah, I tend to just call them random things. So CD, Rolls, Royce Rental, and in Red Dead. Let's see if this one's working. Okay, where has it got these images from? I literally didn't give it any images. That is so weird that there are images there. Yeah, I'm not actually sure where it's getting these images from. I didn't give it any images, so that's kind of weird. Claude does things like that, honestly. It's kind of scary sometimes what it can actually do. Uh, this is slash en and it's Italian, though, which is another mistake. It does look good, um, but again, yeah, it doesn't seem to be doing the best job here. Okay, so I just want to kind of explain to people why I'm still making videos about this when you might say, like, well, it's not that good or whatever. I just want to show you a couple of things that maybe might fly under the radar in a video like this. First of all, it created every single one of these SVGs one by one. Look at that. So when I actually get the website to work, there was a problem with internationalization. It happens, right? But, I mean, just look at the quality here. It's smashed out every single one of these SVGs. If you don't know, SVGs are pretty complicated to make, generally speaking. Okay, so like I said, there were a couple of problems there. I'm not going to lie to you guys. That was a little bit more than usual. It did take a little bit longer. But it created all these custom F uh, SVGs. I'm not sure, but did it do any images other than SVGs? It doesn't look like it. Looks like it might have done, actually. So let's have a look here. So this is the website that was created. Now, like I said, it's done all of these custom SVGs. It's really put a lot of detail into all of this. These are placeholder images, obviously. That's how placeholders work, if you don't know. And yeah, this is a much... This is a pretty damn good website. Now, I don't necessarily think that the style is perfect for the website, necessarily. This looks more like a SaaS, to be honest with you. And there is a problem where some of the pages aren't working, but I believe that's an error with the system, not the fact that it didn't actually generate these pages. There's just a problem with the system right now. But yeah, overall, this looks pretty damn good. Um, pretty impressed, to be honest with you. This does look more like a SaaS, though, to be fair. But yeah, like I said, the reason I'm so interested in this is because it builds a much more complete project even more complete than claude code on its own for example that's the only reason i'm still making videos about uh archon and um claude flow is because generally speaking they produce a much more complete website and they tend to reward hack less they're the two things that i'm kind of looking for at all times right it's also for some reason talked about milan which has gone completely against prompt i think actually wait i didn't check i might have actually changed the original prompt thinking about it yeah, I did. Yeah, the, the original prompt has changed, which is why the overall feel, look and feel has also changed. So this isn't necessarily a completely fair test comparing it to my other benchmarks. I should mention that as well. The, what, what I'm trying to show you guys is that it's a complete project. Everything is here, right? I know that it looked like those things before reforming those pages, but I believe that's just because they haven't been set up properly. And also, that's why, like I said, the uh, the overall structure has changed, or like the overall look and feel. Also, it has a problem, but that's fine. That's probably a very, very small fix as well. So overall, I'm impressed. It's done more with less, uh, which is very, very interesting. It's got some really nice animations, really nice SVGs. Very, very impressed overall. And it's a super complete project. Like I said, it will take a little bit more time, but like if you just use Claude code, it will get you to 80%. If you use this, it will get you to 93% or whatever. And then you just have to do the kind of last, you know, 10% or whatever yourselves. So yeah, I'll leave the video there, guys. This is definitely worth exploring. I really, really like the build process here. It's super nice. It's very complete. And I'm excited to see what people think. Thanks for watching, guys. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, you're an absolute legend. And I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.